my name is Ken Brown, and I'm with Tech Fusion here in Orlando. We're an IT staffing and recruiting company. And today I want to talk about job hunting tips, okay? Uh, I think long gone are the days of putting out a resume, getting 10 phone calls, and getting a job offer. Do you still need a resume? Yes, absolutely you need a resume. But I have three main speaking points today that I'd like to discuss with you guys outside of the resume. The first thing that I'd like to talk about is getting out and meeting people in person, right? The digital age has made everything uh, so technology-based that things have become very impersonal. People expect to get a job just by sending out an email, applying on a website. And I'm here to remind you guys that every single day in this world, Jobs are filled by people that know people or people that have met people on an in-person basis. Talk to your friends, talk to your family members, and ask them, how have you gotten jobs? I guarantee a lot of them are going to tell you that they've gotten jobs in person. How do you get in person? Well, I would recommend going to meetup.com, looking through the local meetup groups. It's free to sign up, getting out. Uh, just attending these uh, meetup groups. If you're not comfortable, uh, force yourself to get outside of your comfort zones. But go and meet up with people and let them know that you, you know, you're looking for a position. Let them know what you're looking for. If you do that, uh, that is going to greatly increase your chances of success. The second thing I like to talk about is social media. Social media is everywhere. Everyone, social media, social media, social media, right? It's very important that if you're not working, that you look at your job search as if it were a full-time job. If you take that approach, if you invest 40 hours a week into uh, not only getting in person with people, networking, I would try to attend a networking event maybe daily, but expanding your contacts on social media to the extent that when you're posting updates, eventually you're reaching a large enough audience to where you're going to get some traction and, and potentially receive uh, you know, opportunities and or job offers. Um, I would strongly recommend getting on LinkedIn. You, it's an absolute must. You have to be on LinkedIn. Have a professional profile picture. Um, if you're not an excellent writer, I would definitely make a small investment and, and invest in somebody to overhaul the information architecture piece of your LinkedIn page. I would. Strongly recommend having a professional profile picture on Facebook. Uh, many times people have simply not received a job just because they had an unprofessional Facebook profile picture. I would have a, a really strong Twitter profile, and believe it or not, I would actually have um, my resume and profile up on Pinterest. Uh, not talked about a lot, but it is one of the top 10 most visited uh, social media sites on the internet today. The third thing I'd like to talk about with you guys is being creative, right? Thinking outside of the box. Long gone are the days where you get a college degree and you automatically get a job. These days a college degree is equivalent to what a high school degree was 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. These days to set yourself apart from an education perspective you need to have at least uh, a master's degree, an MBA, or a doctorate. So, if you've got a four-year degree and you're expecting to land that dream job, unless, again, you either meet people in person, uh, you get a personal referral, or you happen to maybe make some connection via social media, you're going to have to be creative. Uh, one example I heard of, a gentleman didn't have a large budget. Uh, he was in the Midwest somewhere. He put up a billboard for himself with a picture. It said, hire me. He paid $300. He put it over the busiest expressway in his town. Uh, he got about 10 calls that day, and he got a job. Um, another guy produced a video similar to this one uh, at home. It was uh, well written. He had uh, a fake mustache. He had a funny outfit, and uh, he was able to. He was targeting uh, working for Google specifically, and so he addressed the uh, video to the Google audience, and then the video ended up going viral. Don't know if he ended up at Google or not, but I know about a million people did uh, see his video. So more than likely, he did have the opportunity to work there. So uh, just to kind of wrap it up with you guys, get out and meet people in person. 
go to meetup events, go to networking events, go to chamber of commerce events, go to uh, you know technology industry events, finance, whatever industry you're targeting, get out to those industry events. Make sure you have a really, really strong social media profile. It's not only gonna help you find leads on new jobs, but it's also going to help you in securing that new job. And make sure that you're creative. If you're marketing yourself and you just bring a resume, you're doing what everybody else is doing. Get creative, produce videos, produce rich media, have a website, have an interesting business card. Um, I've seen people that, um, you know, they've left, uh, you know, when they interview with someone, they'll have a small bamboo plant. It costs them $2, uh, and they have their information on the bottom. It's something unique, it sits on the person's desk, it's a unique way to market yourself. Get outside the box, think, and be different, and you'll undoubtedly have success.